So, uh, I've been away from my computer for a couple of days. I've had a pretty long, like, wild weekend. Um, so I've been able to, like, be at my computer and make videos like I wanted to. But I didn't want to go a whole weekend without making at least one. Um, but I wanted to make it important. Um, you know, I had a long weekend, you know, I have a fresh cut and all that. But, you know, I wanted to just do one. And this, this message, I feel like, is probably the most important message I can give, man. Um, you know, I love politics. I freaking love politics. It's, it's, I just, it's, it's so beautiful. Um, and obviously the system right now is fucked up in a lot of ways, but it's empowering. It's beautiful to know that I'm out there doing my best to try to make a change in the world. As small as it may be, on as small of a scale as it may be, I know that I'm touching somebody every day. Empowering them to go into the system and do something. Empowering myself to go out there and do something to make a difference for all the people that I love and care about, including myself. Um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, and politics is is so much more than some horse race. You know, the media will have you believe it is some horse race. It's some contest. It's a basketball game. It's the Warriors versus the Cavs. It's the Falcon versus the Patriots. It's something so small and stupid like that, man. It's not. It's way bigger than that. It's life and death. It's the centerpiece of how we conduct our society. If our political system is fucked, then damn it, the entire society is fucked. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. We're looking at a society right now where people are struggling to survive. Mentally, physically, emotionally, people are struggling to survive. You have a healthcare crisis where millions of people don't get the insurance that they need, get the quality care that they need. Thousands of people die per year because they don't have access to health care. Student loan debt crisis, where you're dealing with trillions of dollars in debt endured by our youngest people in our society, who did the simple crime of trying to receive an education. You're dealing with an environmental crisis, a global one for that matter, where they say by 2050, we could start to go extinct. This is a crisis of epic proportions across our entire society. And what's the root of it? What's the root of it? You tell me. It's the political system. At the root of all of our evils, all of our troubles, it's politics. It's not just some game. It's not just some horse show. It's how we conduct our society. It's how we treat each other. It's how we determine how we're going to conduct ourselves. It's the basis of civilization. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so important. Um, and particularly now, I want to make that clear. Now more than ever, it matters. Because civilization is at a breaking point. And I don't want to mean it. I don't want to sound like some conspiracy theorist, some, uh, I don't know, New World Order type motherfucker. I don't want to talk. I don't want to sound like that, man. But it is. It is. It is in a lot of ways. And if you if you are woke to that, I'm going to put you on game right now, dog. Like, our society is fucked. I know you feel it. I know you feel it when you step outside and you see all the despair. I know you feel it when you, when you look on the news and you see nothing but problems going rampant across the globe. It's been this way for decades, but it's reaching a breaking point. You know shit is fucked when you elect Donald Trump as your president. And that's not to indict anybody who supports them. It's not to call them a racist, call them xenophobes, call them white nationalists, whatever the hell you want to call them. It's to wake people up to the fact that people are struggling, regardless of your background, regardless of what you think about some, whether you're gay, lesbian, straight, whether you're black, white, blue, purple, whether you're a woman or a man, or whatever the hell you choose to identify as, whatever you are, people are struggling. People are struggling, and they take it out in different ways. And for some, they chose to elect an orange lunatic. For people like me, I choose to do something positive with it, and I make videos, and I go online, and I write, and I try to empower people to do something with the political process like I'm doing right now. But there's real anger. There's real anger and frustration and despair out there. People are falling apart. The society is starting to fall apart at the seams. We're starting to fuck up. And we're reaching a breaking point where if we don't decide right now, we're going to fix this. We see the problem. We see that our society is fundamentally broken. We see that we are living in an oligarchy. We see that in the richest country in the history of the world, that there 
We have the highest rate of childhood poverty in the developed world. We have one of the worst educational systems and healthcare systems in the developed world. We see that we are failing, failing fundamentally. Mental health crisis at the wazoo, depressed and anxious people across the entire country, across the globe for that matter. We see that we are fucking up and we're going to fix it. So right now we can decide, yes, there's a problem. Our society's broken, let's fix it. Or we can stay with the status quo. You can say, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm too, I'm too afraid to rock the boat. I'm too afraid to elect a socialist. Because, I mean, it's, it just must be so bad. It's unelectable. I mean, yeah, shit may be fucked, but if, you know, if we continue with Trump, it may be even more fucked. I'm going to feed into the, the media propaganda. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be dude in my fear. I'm going to be done in by anxiety. I'm going to be done in by all these devices that the establishment uses to keep you in your place. And again, this isn't some New World Order conspiracy nonsense. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm completely sane, but I ain't that crazy either. I know at least somewhere deep down inside I have a heart, and I'm trying to use that to speak to you right now and tell you that the system is fucked. The system is fucked. The establishment does not want to see you succeed. Some ordinary person out there, wherever the hell you're watching this right now, they don't want to see you succeed. They're trying to do for their elite buddies. They've been trying to do for their elite buddies really ever since this country's foundation, but especially in the last 50, 60, 70 years, where we have seen the society at the seams start to unfold due to all the crises that I just laid out for you. And again, we are now facing a crossroads where you can say, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to fight tooth and nail so that people do not continue to live in despair. So that I acknowledge that everyone around me, regardless of who they are, has worth. That they're a human being. They have blood pumping through their veins. They have worth. And I'm going to fight for them and I'm going to fight for me. I'm going to fight for my friends and family. You can make that decision right now. Or you can continue on with the status quo. We can allow society to break at its seams. And this will all go to shit. <laughs> this will all go to shit. You think shit's fucked now, you just wait. You just wait if we elect another pansy bum who's not going to do anything to fix the system. You just wait. You just wait. There's a ticking time bomb on this society. If we continue the way we're going, where we... Don't give our kids anything solid to look forward to. Give our youth jobs. Give our youth education. Give our youth the, the counseling and the, the support that they need, the, the jobs that they need, the, the, the foundation that they need to carry forth a new society. If we don't give that to them starting right the hell now, there's they're not going to be a future of this. There's not going to be uh, some, some great dream to look forward to, this big fantasy of the American dream. There's never going to be any of that. That's going to be dead. Because either we'll be dead or society will be dead. But this is what's at stake. And if you can't see that, I need you to do your research. I need you to look through my videos, look through Cal's videos, look through all of our videos, look through the whole movement's videos. Look, look at what they say. Look at the state of the affairs right now. This isn't, this isn't a game. As I said, politics is real. There are life and death situations happening right now. And you have a choice in 2020. We continue on with the status quo, or we fundamentally shake up the system. And if you know anything about me, you know I support Bernie Sanders. That's the route. We shake up the system. We change for the better. We give our kids jobs and education. We give ourselves jobs and education. We invest in our future. We clean up our environment. We clean up our society as a whole, where we change our mindset from greed and waste and destruction to common good and common humanity. We do that or we're fucked. This is the reality. This is what we face. I know you feel it. I know I'm not crazy. I know you're not crazy either. You have to make a change and you have to make a choice right here, right now to fight or to perish at some point down the line. This is the this is the reality. And I don't mean to sound intense or crazy or conspiratorial or whatever the hell you want to call me. This is reality. All right. So we have to make a choice. We have to make a change. And this is why the election is so important. 
This is why you need to get up off your ass, register to vote, volunteer. Just do your part. Because it matters. There is a future. There is hope. We can be better. We have been better in the past. We will strive to be better. We can have a society that we've all dreamed of. We can be happy. We can make others around us happy. We can embrace each other. We can love each other. We can provide for each other. But that's only going to come if we fight for it. We are facing an establishment who, whose greed and whose recklessness knows no bounds. And they are fighting tooth and nail to hold on to all of that, they, that they've stolen from us right now. And you can't continue to be done in by their fear, by their, by their propaganda. You can listen to what I'm saying to you right now, that we have to fight. So get up off your ass and let's do this. This election is probably one of the most important that we've had in our entire history. It matters. So let's do something about it. Let's change the system for good.